All right. Good afternoon and welcome to Mass Atoka online class. We are still on the solution to a uh, Matua 1 1 workbook. Okay. So we are still in question number 21. Please, if today is your first day of watching my video, please click that red subscribe button so that anytime I will drop a video like this, YouTube will notify you. All right. And also comment, then like. The more you comment and like, YouTube recommend it to other people. Okay. It helps the video to go viral. So thank you very much for that. So we'll take question number 21. Question number 21 said, uh, solve, solve um, 2 log, 2 log 3, 3x squared plus 3 log 4x raised to power 3 is equal to 4 log 2x squared then plus 4 log 6x hmm. problem okay so let's look into this now let's take everybody back to where they are coming from before we can simplify so we can say this two is coming from somewhere here so i have that this is log 3x squared all raised to power 2 plus log 4x raised to power 3 all raised to power 3 again is equal to log 2x squared all raised to power 4 plus log 6x all raised to power 4 okay so let's continue plus plus okay so now this is what log 2 raised to power this is what 9x raised to power 4 because 2 times 2 is 4 then plus log um 4 raised to power 4 times 4 times 4 64 so i have 64 x raised to power 9 3 times 3 9 is equal to what log 2 raised to power 4 is 16 then i have x raised to power 2 times 4 is 8 then plus log 6 raised to power 4 6 times 6 36 times another 36 so i have 1296 <clears throat> 36 times 36 okay then i have x raised to power what four so according to law of um uh, log medium, i'm going to have that what this is log 9 x raised to power 4 times 64 x raised to power 9 is equal to log 16 x raised to power 8 times 1 2 9 6 x raised to power 4 so this time this i'm going to have log 9 times 64 64 times 9 i'm going to have 5 7 6 x raised to the power this plus this according to law of log video okay that is 4 plus 9 here okay i just want to show that but if not this is 13 okay this is what log 16 times this uh 64 times 64 i have this sorry 1 2 9 6 times 16 i'm going to have 20,736 x raised to the power this plus this to give you what 12. Okay, so now the log redeem we cancel the log redeem here. So, what do I have now? I'm having that um, six, five, seven, six x raised to the power 13 is equal to what 2736 x raised to the power 12. So, now let's light them, let them go. This will divide this. This one will come down. So I have what? X raised to power 13 over X raised to power 12 is equal to what? 2736 divided by what? 576. So according to uh, indices, according to indices, when you have divide the subtract, so 13 minus this will give you 1. So I have just X is equal to. So divide this to the lowest and know what you have divided by 576. So I'm having, okay, 36. So that is that for that very very simple so we'll go to the next question question number 22 question number 22 and question number 22 said we should solve solve log root x plus 4 minus log 
root x minus 4 is equal to log 12 minus log 4. All right? According to law of logarithm, if you have minus, you divide. So I have the root of x plus 4 all over the root of x minus 4 is equal to log 12 divided by 4. So this is what? Log 1 root covering them. x plus 4 over x minus 4 is equal to log 3. If log take care of this, I'm going to have the what? That the square root of x plus 4 all over x minus 4 is equal to 3. When, if you square both sides, that is square root moving here to become square. So x plus 4 all over x minus 4 is equal to 3 squared. Okay? Okay, let me say square both sides. Square both sides. So square cancel square root. So I'm having that x plus 4 over x minus 4 is equal to 9 over 1. So if I cross multiply, I'm going to have that 9, uh, 9 times this will give you 9x minus 9 times 4 is 36. So 36 is equal to x plus 4. X plus 4. So collect light terms to have the what? 9x minus x is equal to what? 4 plus 36. So this and this will give you 8x is equal to what? 40. So x will now be 40 divided by 8, which is what? 5. Okay? So that is that for question number 22. So move to question number 23. So question number 23. Question number 23 said... Um, they say find find the product product of four root three and two root five. Okay, solution that is four root three times two root five. Okay, a uh, product means times. So four times two eight. The square root. In fact, in sod the one outside multiply the one outside the one inside multiply the one inside. So four times two for the outside. Yeah, I'm going to have 3 times 5 for the inside, which will give you 8 with what? 15. Very, very simple. So, we'll move to the question number 24. So, for question number 24, question number 24, we have that, um, they say, find, find the sum of 2 root 5, minus 4 root 2 and and 3 root 5 plus 5 root 2 okay solution so sum means to add so i have 2 root 5 minus 4 root 2 plus 3 root 5 plus 5 root 2 5 root 2 so in sort only like sort can add so root 5 and root 5 will add. So 2 plus this will give you 5. So I have 5 root 5. Now, this is minus 4 plus 5 will give you 1. So that is plus root 2. So this is the answer for that. We move to question number 26. Uh, 25 rather. Question number 25. Question number 25 said we should simplify. Simplify root 48 minus 6 over root 3 plus root 6 times root 2 okay solution this is very very simple they say root 48 minus 6 over root 3 plus root 6 times root 2 now for 48 48 2 divide is 24 2 divide is 12 2 divide is 6 2 divided is 3, 3 divided is 1. Don't forget that anybody that is double will stay outside. So I have this one is double, stay outside times. Another double again, stay outside. But the only single one will stay inside. Okay? Minus. It's an abomination to have um, saw that the denominator. So we must rationalize. I will say 6 over root 3 times root 3 over what? Root 3. That is how to rationalize. You close for this one. Now this time this will give you uh, root 12 root 12 so here is giving me 4 root 3 minus uh, inside there this time this will give you 6 root 3 over 3 6 root 3 over 3 then plus root 12 is giving me 2 root 3 2 root 3 
So this into this is giving me 2. So I'm left with 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3. Now this 2 is gone. So my final answer here is 4 root 3. All right. So that is that for that. David, go inside. So question number 26. Question number 26 said, compute, compute the quotient, the quotient and the remainder, the remainder of using the long division method, the long division method the long division method when we come and carry your son the long division method is the long division method 6x squared minus 26x plus 12 mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Use my own. Take this one. Okay. This is sorry for that. Divided by x minus 4. Solution. So what do we need to do? We draw our long division method. This is our x minus 4. Then this is 6x squared minus 26x plus 12. Now we are using DMS, DMS, and this said the first person divide by the first person. So this divide by this will give you 6x. We go to M. M said use this answer to multiply everybody here. So this time this will give you 6x squared. This time this will give you minus 24x. So the next thing is to subtract. This minus this is gone. Minus minus is plus. So minus 26 plus 24 will give you minus 2x. Then bring down plus 12. All right. So this divide by this again, you have minus 2. Minus 2 times this will give you minus 2x. Minus 2 times this will give you plus, uh, plus 8. So if you subtract this and this is gone, 12 minus this, you have 4. So you tell them that the quotient, the quotient, the quotient is this one, which is 6x minus 2. And then the remainder, the remainder is what? Is 4. Okay? So that is that for question number 26. We move to question number 27. So for question number 27, 27 said 2x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 3 minus 7x squared plus 3. Uh, okay, they said divide. Please write for me. Divide this by by x squared minus 2. Please put that divide for me. Okay? So we want to divide. The same method is applied. So let us do it again. The same long division is applied. So I have x squared minus 2 here. So I'm dividing 2 x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 7 x squared plus 3. So we are using DMS again. Division, multiplication, and subtraction. So for division, this divide by this will give you 2 x squared. So this time this will give you 2x to the power 4. This time this will give you minus 4x to the power 2. So if you subtract, um, this minus this is gone. Okay. Now, x to the power 3 does not have anybody to subtract with. So let's say they are subtracting with 0. This minus 0 is still the same thing, x to the power 3. So this one is subtracting with this one. So minus minus is plus. Minus 7 plus 4 will give you minus 3x squared then bring down plus 3. That does not subtract with anybody. So we repeat the DMS again because we have to stop when the remainder is less than this. So please watch my video on polynomial. You understand it very well. Okay? So this divided by this will give you plus x. So this time this will give you x raised to the power 3. This time this will give you minus 2x. So if you subtract again, this and this is gone. This person does not have anybody to subtract. We bring it down. Minus 3x squared. Okay, now minus minus is plus, so I have plus 2x that is 0 plus 2x. So bring down your plus what plus 3. 
are we stopping here no so this divide by this again i have my minus three minus three times this will give you minus three x squared minus three times this will give you plus six if you now subtract you have this and this is gone this person does not have anybody to subtract to bring it down but three minus six will give you minus three so my quotient tell them again that quotient quotient is equal to that 2x squared plus x minus 3 why the remainder the remainder is equal to what 2x minus 3 okay so that is that for question number 27 move to question number 28